six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And we have liftoff. So I control the E4 square and I'm hoping to extend my reach all the way up to E5. Oops, there goes my pawn. That's no good. He's just thinking twice before taking it. Um, and he chooses not to. That works for me. This might be a target, so I might play a4 at some point. Also, uh, g4 or g5 is a possible idea here. Um, so just step out of this pin. Oh, he plays b4 himself. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to kick his knight and then move my other knight and just try to checkmate. I've also got this idea. Oh, wait. No, I've got this and then knight d7 is in the cards. There's my tactic. Alright, he sees that motif. Um, I'm still going to kick him around. Okay, this is defended. Oh, a6 is hanging too. Um, Okay, I kind of have to take that. Um, I'm going to try to hold this together like this. And just develop out this way. Um, so the point of moving the bishop is to connect the rooks. In case I need to do anything tricky with the rooks. So yeah, temporarily I am down a pawn. I'm not especially worried. Um, hmm. I need to keep moving, unfortunately. This is Blitz, and I did go Berserk. Yeah, thanks. I'll need some luck. <laughs> um... Going Berserk is not a strategy that to win a tournament, um, and yet I play it anyway because it's supposed to be fun. So I'm suspecting he'll trade pieces. Players don't like to keep tension. This is, well, the same length as every other, uh, almost every other Lee Chess Marathon. It's a 24-hour event. Check. Okay, he needs his knight to escape right now, otherwise it's going to get challenging for his knight to move later. Okay. I guess this was his big idea. Um, we'll see if he does knight takes here or knight takes there. 
this is loose. Um, oh, this is bad. See, so yeah, a knight takes f4. I kind of have to take the knight and play a knight versus bishop endgame. Thankfully, uh, well, no, that's not good. His bishop is not on the same color as this pawn, so I'm actually in a lot of trouble. And this knight is well placed here, so I have to take it. Um, um, so anything I come up here, uh, anything I invent in this position is going to have to be very tactical to keep some kind of balance. Um, I guess getting the outside passer would be useful. Um, especially because he needs to get his bishop there to stop me. Like, he can't trap my knight on the move. Um, Alright, I'll take another pawn. So, this evens the game. Knights are tricky pieces. Now, if he just walks into another colossal fork, I might have some advantage. I don't think it's going to happen, but uh, it'd be so awesome if it did. So I'm encouraging King over. I'm just going to route my way here. What I should be doing is pushing the queenside pawn. Um, it's going to find some opposition, but I can still push it. Uh, take one of these. Take one of those. Well, it's a shot, anyway. Uh... Check. 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 Believe it or not, I do know how to check. checkmate with a king and a queen. So that puts me in 14th place. Can I get 10th? How awesome would it be to get 10th? Um, yeah, I did make some changes. So this coloring is my coloring of my Go styling of these pages. Go and berserk. Oh, that's rather nice of him to have gone berserk against me. All right, we're playing. What's this? A classical uh, Rui? Uh, Check. I think this is a line. Uh, don't try this at home. Just saying. Okay, so I have to play this here. No, what's the deal with this line again? Uh, I'm going to kick his bishop. Probably should have done this a while ago. Um, yeah, I don't know this line. So there's a good chance I might not be winning here. Still, my bishop does cover e1, so it's not like rook e1's landing. Uh, he might play queen e1. Alright, so I've broken this pin that's going to arise uh, in this position. So now my king can safely run out of the center. Um, okay, I'll defend, I guess. This is more than a bit dicey. Again, e one still covered. So everything's okay. Uh, nothing's on fire just yet. 
And I'm up two pawns against a 2200, so yeah, I'm going to bookmark this. Because um, this is something I need to study just a little bit more. But yeah, apparently I've refuted the Rui Lopez, so yay me. I say that as a joke. I hope somebody gets it. Still, it'd be so cool. It's fun playing these sidelines and just seeing what happens. Uh, especially if I could get into some kind of endgame position. Okay. He takes my knight. My rook's attacked. Um... So I take here, which is kind of forced. I guess he takes there. I take here. He takes back. I take his bishop. Um, okay, I didn't expect that. So what's going on in this position? I have two active bishops. Um, and a passed pawn. Check. So I just play rook e8 at my leisure and try to enjoy this position. Uh, okay. Basically just don't freak out. Play reasonable moves, make progress, somehow win this. Um, the last part's probably the hardest of them all. Okay, so there's some discoveries here. Victory. Awesome. I'll take it. Eighth place. Alright, going up for first place, guys. I just have to beat these other seven punks. I kid, it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> oh, how great would it be? Oh, a 1200. How hard could this be? He's probably got a really good score, so this is going to be a really hard game. Um, yeah. Got a 1200 who's playing some okay opening moves. He hasn't lost yet. Knight d4? It's not happening. These guys, uh, they play well when there's something on the line. So this is my big idea. My other big idea is the cheapo, but um, it's, you'll find that players who are on a roll don't fall for these ideas as often as players who are I don't know, in a weaker tournament position. So, yeah, this guy's given a good fighting game. He, he did give me the bishop here, which is kind of nice. Um, but that aside, his position's really solid. And I suppose he's just trying to hold it out, uh, and play the best moves he can find. I mean, that's what anybody would do. And um, if he can manage to win on time, so much the better for him. I'm hoping he plays b5. Because then I could play rook a6 and queen a1. Although I might need to interpolate c3 to kick the knight so he doesn't take my pawn. Um, yes, the... Lee Chess Gone Berserk script is uh, public. Um, it's open source. It's, I think, CC0 licensed, meaning anybody can use, redistribute, and so forth with it. 
as long as they give credit as that I'm the author of it, which I don't think is that hard to do. Um, I'm sorry, I should say it's publicly available just to draw some nuance between um, public domain and publicly available. The difference is um, publicly available things just mean you can easily get at them. They're, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Um, public domain has a very special meaning, meaning um, you can just freely use it free of copyright. Anyhow, um, yeah, it's you can get it. It's pretty simple to get. Just search Google for Lee Chess Gone Berserk. Uh, or go to the user scripts group on our team on Lee Chess, and you'll see uh, that's a fun place to get some of these things. All right, he moved his rook. Uh, so I'm going to both hit this and hit that and get my other rook over here. Alright, free stuff. Can't object to the freebies. If he moves the queen, this is a freebie. Depending, well, he's not going to move the queen here. But theoretically, a queen move could accidentally hang the rook. Uh, in practice, that's a little bit harder to accomplish. Now, on the other hand, hanging the knight, that's not so difficult to accomplish. Um, so, this guy could please just resign, then I would take the highest place I'm ever going to take in this tournament. And then have a chance to lose to somebody who will crush all my hopes and dreams. Check. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Queen moves, bishop g6 mate. Oh, a queen g8 mate. So he's going to take my bishop. Or Check. he's just going to let me win. All right, fifth place, guys. Fifth place. Okay. Well, gave him a chance to go berserk. He opted not to. Can't fault him. But he doesn't know this line. One more win and I'd be in first, guys. You think it's going to happen? I don't. Do you think it's going to happen? The queen takes g7? Check. No, no queen takes g7 today. This guy's paying attention. Alright. See how it is. Playing some good moves. Didn't see that one, huh? No, I'm just playing around. It's Friday. You gotta give me a little bit of levity here. Um, so I step out of the pin in the most fun way imaginable. Um, I don't know. Is it a good amount of bad lines or a bad amount of good lines? Or a bad amount of bad lines or a good amount of good lines? Either way, if you're learning something and having fun, that's probably a good thing. If you're just having fun, and that's all you ever do, um, some people frown on that. Um, Check. Um, the rest are potsers. Again, I'm trying to make jokes, but okay, fine. Um, so I'm just going to trap the bishop. I don't need that bishop. Oh, okay. Well, guys, we've got an end game. Oh, I could take the knight. I don't have time to evaluate. Uh, crap. Or to calculate. So, I think I want to keep the bishop. Um... Uh, 
Oh, uh, he's got knight f5, and then we're going to have to trade and get a boring pawn endgame. Um, well, no choice now. Except he's got... Well, he's not going to play that. That'd be crazy. He's got to trade. And then it comes down to, can I outplay him in a king and pawn endgame? If I could get the outside passer, maybe I've got something here. Um, so I'm going to stop king g4 and try to encourage h4, which I don't think is very good. Um... Okay, I keep my pawns connected. Ooh, this is not good. His pawns are rolling very quickly. Either way, I can't take on f4. I have to play this way. <sighs> this is, uh, yeah, really, really bad. So I have to push. If I exchange, he just wins the h pawn in the game. So I have to let his duo advance. Um, it's going to be very tricky to try to hold this because I've got doubled pawns and no way to break through. Um, but, you know, I'm going to play for it. Play for whatever chances I've got here. And the further that this advances, the more chances I have. So he should try to stop that as soon as possible. Although he doesn't even have to, he could just, this is a really simple win. And he plays it the easy way, so yeah, I have to concede. He got it. He is definitely on a winning streak. I should have tried to calculate some of that before playing it, but again, it's Friday, so I'm just having some fun. Oh. Okay. No ban, please. Uh, resigned on move zero. So, I'll take it. See? That was easy. Back up in the top ten. Oh, that's kind of him. He apparently didn't see what happened to that other guy who went berserk. Okay. Bet he's never seen B3. Because it's probably not good. Um, here, let's stop knight B4. Okay, but now I control D4. Um, and now I super control the center. Now I ultra super control it. Hooray. Uh, okay. My real idea is to plop the knight here. I suspect he's probably just going to play g6, and I get my knight there. Okay, take my knight. I think he was expecting me to move it. I'm playing all this, all these antagonistic moves just to see like what I can learn in these positions. Um, and also because there's practical chances in playing things your opponent's uh, probably unfamiliar with. Check. He's got a block at the knight. Um, I hit the rook. Castles. Go for shots. Uh, queen takes d6. Um, it's not what I want to play. Alright, so I've stepped into a really nasty pin. Um, uh, so what do I do? I think I gotta resign. Or just play some random moves. So uh, we're gonna play some random moves and see what happens and then resign. So knight f6 was not the way to go there, just for those of you watching at home. Um, OK, 
Okay, I'm still down on time. Let's get the bishop here. Threaten this, threaten that. Cover this. It's not a bad bishop. He needs his bishop on this long diagonal, and it's a little bit of a trek to get there. Um, free pawn. Gotta take all the freebies. I mean, his position is is kind of awkward here. Um, he's not made it easy for himself at all. So now I threaten rook d8 if he gets kind of greedy. Also, I could just take the knight. Uh, which would have been the right move. Okay. Well, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Check, Check here. Uh, I don't know. I've got to make some move. Okay, let's get the queen out. Check. Oh, that's me. Okay. Bummer. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that your advice was a bit late, because I shouldn't be cheating. And it would be kind of cheating for me to take advice from a viewership um, about games in progress. Um, come on. Yeah, this is a fun little sideline, too. Um, although I think it's supposed to be objectively bad. I don't remember all the reasons why. So, we're playing it, and gonna learn something, hopefully. Uh, I guess Bishop B4 is coming. Alright, do not do queen takes. Just, you know. Now he's got all these holes on dark squares. Is there not a piece that I have that can do some damage on these dark squares? Now, let's just stick the bishop here. Oh, I'm... I've hung this pawn in previous games. I'm hanging it again today. I don't think I'll ever not hang that pawn. Um, but at least I've got some compensation for it. Okay. Uh, let's just go over here, not threaten anything in particular, you know, other than the checkmate. Is bullet still chess? No, I've said many times, uh, bullet is not chess. Next question. <laughs> oh, this isn't bad in practical play. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, certainly I'm getting some good practical chances with it. Probably would get better chances if I found uh, tactics like this one. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to calculate. If I had actually gone for that, I think king d8's forced. Uh, well, actually, it's the only move. Um... Here, let's renew this threat. And I guess I'm accidentally encouraging this. Uh, and let's just push on the king side. <laughs> Who needs material to win? Oh goodness, I need to spend more time thinking. I could take in here than take in there. Alright, well, Check. we'll do it this way. But yeah, I'm missing simple wins. 
Although I am getting quick cheapos, so um, it actually works out in my favor to play bad moves instead of uh, playing objectively best sound-ish moves. Uh, Check. So if king e8, bishop takes his mate. King g8, queen takes his mate. And those are the only two moves in the position, so... I wonder which one my opponent's going to pick. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess if um, some players are fantastically good at bullet because they play good moves, um, then evidently right, bullet right, must be some kind of form of chess. But um, I'm just going to continue claiming that, you know, it's just not chess. Not at all. Uh, let's play this and this and usually I just play a uh, far different line so I'm way out of book here like way 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 out of book all right so let's play some of that probably not necessary to play this to prepare e5 um, it's probably also a bad idea so I'm just gonna throw in g6 and I've got some hybrid Pierce modern something. But yeah, I've not played this well at all. Okay, I hope to see him play d5. Um, okay, so now we're kind of sort of in Grunfeld territory maybe? I don't know. Let's get the king out of there. Maybe I should actually play for this. I'm not sure what else... Well, it's easy for him to move the bishop, but... Um, I mean, obviously he just moves it away. Uh, or moves it up here. Yeah, well, that's certainly possible too. So now I'm no longer threatening a2, uh, at least not directly. Okay, this is getting pretty uncomfortable. Bishop f6 is anything but standard, um, but at least I'm forcing his bishop to move away. even at the expense of having to push my pawns forward. Uh, so, I've only got a minute and a half remaining. This is why I continue blitzing, even though I'm not entirely sure of my plan. Uh, I just don't have an alternative. I have to keep moving. My opponent, on the other hand, just, I don't know why he plays so fast. He's got all the time in the world to think. Um, Maybe he just feels that it's unfair to have to make use of the time advantage. I'll just make that the story. Uh, make that the narrative, rather. Okay, so let's hit d5. If I can do this with tempo, I might get something here, because my bishop's actually protected. Um... Okay, are we going to liquidate here? Because if we do liquidate... Oh. That's not cool. Alright, so I have to uh, play like this. I can't just take there because it's a poison pawn. Um, we're going to liquidate anyway. Uh, so I could lose my queen and the game shortly thereafter. You lose. Alright, you got me. We're still in ninth, guys. 
Um, despite having this pattern where I'm losing tons of games, um, I'm still on the top of the tournament somehow. It's not going to last. All right. So we got C4. Here, let's see him push. All right, let's let's play whatever this is. Okay. Oh, uh oh, I needed to play D6. All right, there's D6. No, it's okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. You didn't see me play that move order. Nobody saw anything. Especially not my opponent. But, um, I got him out of book. We're playing uh, whatever this is. Doing okay on the clock. He offers a draw. Why would I take a draw here? I'll just pretend to think about it. Hmm. Is there a reason for me to take a draw? I mean, you know, a draw is worth one point, and a win is worth three, because I went berserk, so... I'm going to try to win it. I might not win, but um, the payout is like three times as good if I manage to win it than if I draw. So... It's worth the risk. At least if I, if I feel I have even half a chance of winning, it's entirely worth the risk. Oh. If this knight were defending the other knight, I would have nice tactics here. Um, so I've got ideas coming up. Meanwhile, a6 is defended, so it's not like I'm in peril or anything. g4 does look scary, but I'm not sure how he follows. Meanwhile, now I've actually got serious pressure here. And this beautiful looking bishop isn't actually accomplishing anything, so... Um, yeah, I'm thinking knight f takes, possibly followed by bishop f5. I'm not sure. Or I just take here. Uh, so you might need to play rook a b1. Um, uh, my key point is that I'm threatening bishop takes d4. So I expect the knight to move. Queen takes. Yeah, I'd say the purest form of chess is that of the entire chess decision tree, all possible positions uh, enumerated from the starting position. And then expand that one step further to be all possible positions starting from all possible positions. Uh, or starting from I don't know, all legal positions. So yeah, the purest form would be every possible chess position. And every way in which they transpose to and from each other. Um, and if you could somehow store that and make that, um, I don't know, make that accessible somehow, and that would be pure chess, because anybody injected with this pure chess would have a complete and total mastery of the entire game. You couldn't get any more pure than that. If you like had some kind of computer chip or something in which the entire game of chess was stored and um, just like plug that into somebody's brain, they would have pure chess.
Now, I don't think Stockfish is capable of storing all possible chess games. You'd need something um, an infinite Jack. number of times stronger. <laughs> this bishop is tied down to this in defense of this pawn. Um, ooh, this looks fun. Can I get him to move his king? If he moves the king, uh, I just take here. Uh, Check. Oh, darn it! I I'm blitzing. I should have seen the discovery, winning the bishop. That would have been an awesome and epic way to end this. And now we'll just have to settle for the mediocre. Uh, me grinding my opponent down. So, go pawn go. At this point it's mostly about crushing his morale, as opposed to finding strong moves, which win instantly. Um, still, finding some instant winners would probably help my cause. There we go. I found one. I'll just play a2, a1. Check. Okay, I'll take that. What else do you want to... Oh! Free bishop, too. I thought the bishop was just going to go to, like, d4 or Victory. something. But, no, I trapped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you saw. I was able to keep him moving. Alright. 2200... Oh! He's going berserk. We have a chance, guys. Oh. Nobody plays a5 against me and gets away with it. That's my opening turf, guys. Here we go. Best opening in all of chess. I don't even know what to call it. Um, okay, we'll play like this and go back. Go back here. Saw me hesitate there. I don't know what he thinks about my play. Maybe he thinks I'm goofing around. Maybe he thinks I'm actually taking this seriously. Um. Either way, I've got some decent moves in this position, so there's nothing for me to fear. Uh, so I protect e3. He's probably planning knight g3 with complications. Uh, but hey, we've succeeded in getting a really complicated position against a strong player. Oh, right. He's got that too. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, Alright. Here we go. My king leads the fight. My king is no coward, unlike this king, which is safely hiding behind walls of pawns. What a coward. Come out here and attack me, you king. Okay, well, we'll let that settle for a while. Um, in the meantime... I don't know, I'll try to go here and hit this knight. Uh, oh, crap, I hung Please. a knight. Yeah, no, there's no coming back from dropping a pawn there. Or knight there. Alright, well, that was too bad. Yeah, <laughs> obviously I'm being rather generous with that language. But hey, I'm still in the top ten, so there's that. How long can I stay up here while going berserk every game and playing silliness? I don't know. Right, he's going berserk, guys. We're going a5. h5. It's the new thing. It's the new craze. Everybody's doing it. Alright, so I lost a knight, but he didn't see it. But other than that, this has been a good opening. See, I'm threatening a fork. Uh, he's going to take here. He's going to play c4. Uh, he's probably going to castle. That's not castling. There go my psychic powers. 
So I'm trying to stop this. In addition, I'm just developing like a sane person would do. All right, take the freebies. Take all the freebies. And note, I've defended H5, so now I can castle. This is all a ploy from the beginning. So I could play H5 and defend it and get this position. Now if he castles, I just take D5. Unless he castles queenside. Um, on the other hand, I just take D5 anyway, because this is pinned. And I'm winning a bishop, maybe? Probably not. Probably he just castles now and sacks on the e-file, and I'm just only two pawns up. Alright, so, I mean, uh, I guess uh, even a queen trade here doesn't really help my cause too much. Um, so I am two pawns to the good. That's definitely counting for something here. Alright, I've got a minute 44 to win this. Um, and I wager that I definitely know how to win this. Oh, yeah, let's split that up. Play e5 now, man. <laughs> Actually, he can't defend e4. And he has no immediate target, so e5 is pretty tempting. But this uh, pawn endgame is kind of bad for white. Um, since I just push all of my pawns forward. Check. Um, yeah, I have to take here. Let's just push. Free stuff, man. Alright. I mean, what do you do when you have this many passed pawns? Just keep mowing them forward. Uh, so, they just take out everything in their path. Um, check. check. Defend the rook. Check. Go for mate. See if we can win with a queen. Check. You know, one queen might not be enough. Let's take a second. Alright. There we go. Yeah, still top 10. Hanging in there at number 10. I don't know how. I'm just going to say maybe it's because this um, event wasn't as well advertised as previous ones. It's a possibility, anyhow. Okay. So now we're playing a Grand Prix, because why not? So who's been watching the chess championships? Um, let's take one of those. Get out of the check. See, is my rook safe if I was, you know, it's not a good square for it. Um, oh, today I'm hanging my pawns. All right, let's see if we can do this. Nope, it's not happening. Well, 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 well. If I could get some initiative, that would be great. So I'm just trying to confuse things here. So it's my ultimate target. Um, maybe bishop h6 would have been sensible. Anyhow. Yeah, if I could land a knight there, then maybe I've got something. Maybe. Um...
Oh, I, okay, well, it's not so bad that I hang that. Because I've got bishop h6. So, yeah. Grampi refutes the Sicilian yet again. Note the actual threat isn't here. Well, no, I was going to say the actual threat's mate there, but he's got bishop e5 if I play queen f6. So yeah, my threat is actually just to take the rook. Yeah, Yip's going to win the Fisher Prize. I'm calling it right now. She's going to win every game. And the last game, she's just going to... Well, that'd be mean for me to say. I won't say it. But after winning the first ten games, if her last round opponent doesn't let her win the Fisher Prize, uh, the history books will be quite saddened. Okay. Alright, so I have to deal with Queen H4. It's the actual thing here. So I got this nice little pin. Um, here we go. Maybe I get some play here. Um, yeah, that's actually the move I was hoping for. Because now I've got so many open lines. This is just super yeah. dangerous for black. Do not take this. Okay. Um, I've got to stop the pawn and try to tie down his rook. Also try to get a passed pawn of my own. There's my passed pawn. Oh crap. Um, wait, no, if he checks me, he doesn't have any piece backing up a promotion idea. Um, oops, okay. This isn't quite going as planned. That's bad too. Um, this has gone from bad to worse. Check. Draw. Called it. Okay. See? That works. Why no g4? I don't know. g4 would require skill. Um, I'm guessing I missed something there. I don't know a Sicilian that well. In case you can't tell, there's a good chance you might be able to tell that the Sicilian's not my strong point. Oh, we got a national master here. All right, let's play the English. Who doesn't like a good English? What better opening to go berserk with than the English? Uh, just from a standpoint of it takes forever to get all the moves hammered out. Really? 
that the idea here? I mean, what's he going to do? None of my pieces are in the normal configuration, so it's not like he's got some obvious target here. Okay, but I just take this, and take this, and lose a knight. That's the plan. Well, at least I got two pawns for it, in this kind of cool, sort of, looking position. Just check yeah. here. I'm going to try to hold on to that square as long as I can. Which apparently wasn't very long, but that's okay. Let's just put everything on the third. We'll follow with bishop to h3. Maybe even king g3. Just really go for putting everything on the third rank. Um, problem is the king on g3 would stop bishop h3. But other pieces to the third would like hang pieces. So, you know, these are the trade-offs I have to make when playing the English. I have to decide, do I take a free rook or do I attack a queen? Um, you know, taking free rooks is probably the right way to go. Um, but let's not be prejudiced. Let's actually see in practice how these things go. Okay, I'm going to keep the pin on the knight. Check. Okay. Check. What's his idea? This is more than a bit scary. Um, Check. Right, this is forced. Check. Um, do I have winning chances? Oh, I'm going to regret this, but let's find out Check. if I have winning chances over here. Check. Okay, if I go up... Um, so he's now taken all of my pawns. Check. So this position's actually balanced. I should have taken the pawn. Oh, uh, he missed mate in two. I have no idea where. I'm sure Stockfish agrees with you. 
Um, but you saw how I can't even spot like a free rook, so all right. So the fact that I overlooked some kind of mate and two threat that he had isn't too surprising either. All right, so let's just hit the queen. It's called hypermodern chess. Or maybe we just call this postmodern. This style where you play moves just because, you know, why not? I mean, it might be good, it might be bad. Do these objective truths really matter? Probably. Uh, probably a lot more than I claim they do. Um, Alright, so I need to get my bishop on this diagonal. Um, I've, this is what you call overextension. When he puts his pawns on e4 and d4, that's overextending your center. Because uh, now your f2 pawn hangs. Uh, so just take that and go back and actually go here. It's a nice diagonal. Yeah. Let's utilize this diagonal to the best of our ability. He's actually got a block. Um, or I get some temp yeah. here. And now I try to control the center here. Hmm. I have the sense that violating opening principles earlier has come back to bite me a bit. Okay, let's hit the bishop. It's one well-placed bishop. I can't let it just sit there. Okay, let's protect this. The base of my pawn chain is way back in my territory, so... Um, I have to do this kind of thing to protect it. In fact, my bishop's trapped on this other diagonal, so... I'm just going to... Check. Check allow such tactics. Um, I still have pressure here. Uh, I should just pin my knight. Oh no, it doesn't quite work out. Okay, that was kind of unexpected. I know he's way up on time, but I don't think this is a solid way to play. I can shuffle wood with the best. Oh, in fact, I should hit his bishop now. Uh, Check. It's not good, because I'm giving back Check. the pawn. Could be a lot worse, but it's not good. Okay, I've got to take this. If only due to the time situation, yeah. this is my my only yeah. way to play this. Oh, crap. Well, that's no good. Yeah, I can resign Jeez. that. 
There's no winning that one. I didn't see that the rooks trade. Hey, evening. So, it's possible I might not be in the top ten anymore. Although, I see the three players in the top ten have now taken a break. Okay, yeah, take my pawn. I didn't intentionally sack this one. This was an accident. Here, let's play d3. It's the move I always get a little bit irate at people for playing because they don't understand the lines. Um, but, you know, if other people can play it, surely once in a while I can play it. Oh, maybe I should have just taken this. Yeah, let's Check. take one of those and then go like this away. Or maybe just crack with f4. And. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um. So, protect this. He probably plays knight f4. Um. I've got bishop g5 if I want it. We're going to play bishop g5, he plays queen over, uh, just play accidentally falling for the mate, which actually isn't a mate, you know. Fun little tactics. Um, and then he moves his knight away and I win the rook. See? Chess can be simple. Alright, we'll take one of these. Take one of those. Still threatening this. Hopefully he just moves his queen to a bad square or something. Like that square. Yeah. That square is not very Big good for the queen. Okay. Yeah, top 100, guys. Now I'm in the top 11. Top 11 is a serious honor here on Lee Chess. It's, it's uh, something only 11 people can be in at the same time. Did you know that? Okay. I have a feeling I might not win this against Lance. Oh! Okay, we got a chance, guys. Uh, let's play the Slav. Alright, so he doesn't play the sharpest stuff. What's he doing? Is my opening that strange? I don't think I played the Slav that badly. Or poorly. Also, what's Lance doing in 13th place? Okay, we're gonna go here, I guess? Maybe? Uh, I guess I'm forcing myself to trade. Because he could play e4, kind of shutting down my activity here. So yeah, I've played this actually pretty poorly. Um, 
Bishop e6 might have been worth considering just to get the queen to move somewhere off this line. And then I might have something. Um, but no, the way I played it is kind of silly. Uh, let's try to trade bishops this way, though. And by try, I mean force. Um, Okay, so I can play b5. Um, oh, it's actually kind of difficult to get b5 in advantageously. Alright, so I'm trying to get to play b5 one of these days without dropping my army. Um, now we go back to the other side of the board. Please let him hang something. That'd be so nice. That's no, not going to happen. Um, at least not to something so obvious. Oops, there goes my f-pawn. Uh, okay. Check. Oh. Yeah, no, he got me. Yeah, he's just winning my queen there. Um, good on him for finding that. Yeah, he's quite good. Just in case you don't know by the 2500 rating and the fact that he played a lot of good moves. Um, so. Maybe I'll go another, like, 15 minutes or so and then switch to another yeah, game because... Um, because keeping in the top ten spaces is kind of tricky. It's not like we're on MySpace or something and getting in the top ten is... No. I kid. Um... <laughs> I think I'm supposed to take here? So he's up a pawn. Um... I guess I'm just sacking a pawn. I should probably know this, so I'm going to bookmark this so I don't uh, completely lose track of it. Oh! I missed knight takes. Alright, well, Check. I'll just keep developing. Check. And just keep Check. hanging everything. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, this is not so hot. Check. I'm down a rook. Alright, let's, let's get to the next game. We can leave that one behind. I bookmarked that yeah, yeah, yeah. just so everybody can look at it for all posterity. Um, including you. Yeah, I think I should wind down um, kind of soon. I'll make one last go trying to get in the top ten. It's possible this going berserk thing might not be a winning strategy. Particularly if you don't know your openings, it might not work so well. Yeah, I've been trying to get a King's Gambit in. You know that I've played like the Grand Prix, I've played all these sideline openings, but none of my opponents are playing E5. Well, I'm sorry, no, my one opponent did play e5 there. Um, I don't know, one of them played e6. Yeah, I'll see if I can get a King's Gambit in. Off and on, I've been thinking about playing it. Um, but apparently the last game I had the opportunity and I forgot that I wanted to try it. Ah, fine. We'll play into an endgame. Even though this endgame is not the best for me. Okay, we'll take this half-open file, I suppose.
What are the odds they actually run into a player who understands endgames? Doesn't happen very often. But it appears that that's exactly what's happened here. It's that I finally encountered an opponent who can challenge me in an endgame. So I'm going to make a bid for freedom here. C4 would have been a better bid. Wait, no, I could take A7. I'm kind of hanging everything in the process, but it's legal. Um, I've got Rook F1 to follow, although he takes here and... Uh. Wait, no, I've got E3 covered, so I'm fine. Tactics work out. Check. Oh, the obvious. Of course. So if he does rook takes both of these pawns, I've got a bishop tactic right there, but unless he's like ridiculously greedy in doing that, uh, he's probably really in a strong position. Check. Uh, yeah, now he just lifts the back rank mate idea. Um, I try to seal in his king, but it's not going to work. Um, meanwhile, I'm trying to trade off some pawns, because this endgame is hopeless with all the pawns on the board. Check. So I try to bind the king there, try to bind the rook to this pawn. There's a lot of things I can try to do. Um, but no, I think this is objectively better for black. Perhaps objectively winning. Okay, now we're drawn. Black shouldn't be able to win this, except on time. Uh, so you know what's going to happen. I should have played rook c5. I'm playing rook c5. Check. I know this rook dance back and forth is just scintillating. Um, okay, I should not have done that. That was a bad idea. Um, holding this position is really tricky. Actually, this tactic works out. I, at least it doesn't lose on the spot. Um, still extremely dangerous, and I shouldn't have tried it. Um, now I'm just okay-ish, I think. Check. Mate and one. Check. Yep. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah, we'll see if I can get a King's Gambit in. It'll probably be against a 1200 or something. Um, but we'll see. If nothing else, I'm setting a record for most games played so far. Can we get King's Gambit? That's not a King's Gambit. Here, let's play this. Bishop c5. d5. How bad could this be? I'm guessing probably really bad. Um, but you never know until you try it, so... I'm not gonna knock it just yet. Okay, we pin the knight. Let's go! There's no way this could be bad. So if he takes f7, I guess I just play king f8. Or I guess if he does knight takes, uh, well he can't do it this turn, but 
Night ticks could be looming. Um, okay, we'll take their castle into it. Alright, just develop the knight. Get out of this tactic. I might be forced to retreat. Oh, maybe I'm not forced to retreat immediately. Um, let's just trap my knight. Uh, it doesn't seem to. I might be losing a knight, guys. Yep, there we go. You lose. I can concede that pretty easily. Alright, so we got how many losses in a row? Just three. Felt like six, but I do have a win in the middle. Oh, I'm sorry, that's four losses in a row. Alright, we got Lord Butter Noodles. The Lord of the Butter Noodles. Okay, well this isn't a King's Gambit, but it's not a Gambit anymore. Here, let's use the Queen. What better way to attack them with the queen? I know. Use the king. You can gambit the entire king. Uh, if he plays knight e5, I just dance back to c2. Just waiting for a knight to e5 to be played. And he keeps postponing it, so... Alright. Um, there we go. Stop knight e5. Uh, what's this with me trying to play solid moves? See, as soon as I say that, I come extremely close to hanging material. Extremely close to hanging material. Bishop out of dodge. Um, <laughs> oh, this is fine. No, it's not. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rook c1. Hopefully I've calculated this accurately. So I take, he takes, I take, he takes, I take, he takes, and so forth. Um, but I nearly averted a back crank mate, so... Uh, that was exciting. Yeah, okay, we'll play an endgame. I'm not opposed to playing endgames. Oh, I'm down a pawn. Eh, whatever. It's just a pawn. Check. I should have played g4. I'm okay, though. Everything's fine. Um, yeah, no, I should be able to hold this without too much trouble. I made this complicated. Instead of... Check. I should have just taken on g5 Check. to start that whole combination. And we'll see why in just a minute. Check.
Yeah, yeah. Check. Yeah, we'll draw. I don't care. Check. You're taken. Cool. There we go. Yeah, I can't force the promotion of the pawn. If I had taken on g5 first, I would have had no, the same end game, but it would have gone faster. So, four draw, four losses and a draw. We're doing okay. Somehow that puts us into 28th. I'm guessing that of the 636 people berserk. playing, um, well, one, most people aren't going berserk, and two, um, most people probably have withdrawn already. Here, let's play this. So I got an active bishop. I expect f3 and e4. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, fortunately, that's not f3 and e4. I should have gone queen a3 because now he's got tactics like that. Although this actually doesn't work. Um, not only because I'm hitting this, but because of uh, accidental cheapos. I emphasize this is accidental, I didn't plan this. Um, I did plan to keep my pieces active. That's what I was going for with moves like queen b4. And some of my earlier moves with bishop g7 and such, but yeah, actually winning material here is a huge accident. So, whatever. I guess I'll take it. Just keep taking pawns. Um. Okay, is he going to exchange? Oh, I should defend this. I should defend some of my points. I wish I could trap that rook. That'd be so fun. So now I can play my bishop out and start hitting f2. Um, Check. I mean, what's the knight doing here? If it's got a destination, that's cool, but I don't think it had any intent or plan in mind. those. We'll take it. Oh, crap. Yeah. Now it just got complicated. Check. 
All right, so we've got to play actively to get anything out of this. Let's just go this way. Um, yeah, at least my king and rook are nowhere near each other. So, odds of a fork are pretty low. Of course I mean a knight fork, Check. but... Rook forks are a thing. But they're even... they're pretty uncommon. Check. Alright, so I bet he banked on rook e6 check. Um, which is not going to happen. So now I intend just push to d1 and win some material. Could maybe play rook f8. So see, he's like half planning cheapos. He's trying to. Oh. Okay, now I just win tons of material. G4, the knight f2 is a fork. Um, Check. Damn it. You know? You okay. Yeah, I guess I'm not losing the rook there, because I do have the knight protecting it, but uh, given the time situation, I'm doomed to lose that, even if maybe theoretically it might be a draw. I don't think I could save it in 20 seconds. So I think we'll make this last one the last game. Especially because, wait, we started with e4. Oh, that wasn't a... that wasn't a king pawn game. That was a French. I was going to say, if I had failed again to play um, uh, King's Gambit, then then I'm just not paying attention. Knight e4. There it is. Knight f6. Um. Alright, I'm intending f3. Unfortunately, my queen can't take on f5. Oh, it's my move. Alright. So we see that mm, competition's got a little bit stronger um, as time yeah. has gone on. Uh, that, and perhaps I'm not playing the best moves as I used to be doing. And it's probably because I've stopped playing a5 and h5, and a4 and h4. Yeah, we're just going to chalk it up to um, that. I should have been stuck uh, continuing with my postmodern style. So I guess I wish everybody else uh, playing the event uh, good luck with the remainder of the event. I might join back in sometime later, um, but for now it's probably best that I take a break. And this thing's going to play b5, and it's just going to be a, a slow positional grind unless I like throw g4 in. We're throwing g4 in. Grinds aren't fun, so I'm just going to tilt at windmills and hopefully find something. Maybe uh, rook e2, rook uh, g3. I'm 
sorry, E2 to G2 might be an idea. Um, uh oh. Wait. This is fine. Everything's temporarily covered, but I might have to play H3 to really uh, protect everything. But once I'm playing moves like that, uh, it becomes pretty evident that there are holes in my position. Uh, yeah, I have to take this. I have to defend this, and then, oh, actually all my stuff's not really well defended there. But now I'm not hanging my rook, so now I could actually have this option to recapture when I need it. Um, but thankfully my opponents made everything really simple for me here. Um, so, yeah, this... Uh, this f4 move really does not jive with the idea of opening up the king side. Um, do I want a queen trade? Um, as much as it would make me comfortable, I'm, this position calls for me to keep queens on the board. I should try to keep all my pawns on dark squares, though. And maybe try to exchange off a few pawns before this gets bad. Is that a queen trap? Oh, Nelly! That's a queen trap! I'll be taking that, thank you very much. Victory! Nice! Oh, we can't end on that. That would just be unfair. Alright. Here, let's play the England. Nobody suspects it. And probably with good reason. Look at all my active pieces. Check. Oh, could I have played d5? Um, there's a whole world of possibilities here. Uh, first, I have to evict this bishop. have to recapture here, but soon, maybe sometime in the next 10, 20, 30, 40 moves, I might get to make some choices about how to position my pieces. And that'll make my pawn sacrifice entirely worth it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that, that queen trap the other game was quite lucky. So of course I can't end on that note. That would just be a little cynical. I have to try to end it on a note where actually decent chess moves got played. Alright, so I attack this. Might even follow with rook d8, although that kind of traps my other rook in. Um, 
Yeah, no, we're going to play Rook D8 right now. It looks awkward, but now I get to double his pawns. Pin the knight. It's okay. It's an endgame. Oh, that gets ugly. I've got to trade here first, and then I can play knight e5. So I have temporary central control. Um, I should actually have played just the simple... Well, the, it's not so simple. But now this is actually in the cards. Um, Check. Check. So he's deliberating what endgame he might want to allow. Uh, do I take f3? Do I run? I have to take. Uh, I think I have to do something like this. Yeah, I don't have time for king g8 and rook f8, rook f7. Which would probably be a lost rook endgame anyhow. Um, but I don't have time for it. Really? Okay, show me what you got. Check. I was actually trying to encourage f4 here, because that gets in the way of his king coming into this position. Um, so, now I actually have decent peace activity. Uh, Got to defend like this. I guess he's got king g4. No, that would hang the pawn. Oh, crap. Will he find it? Check. He found it. At least it doesn't lose Check. me a rook. Although it might as well, because this endgame is not anywhere near defensible. Just to give you an idea of just how bad this is, we'll play it out just a few more moves. And you can see firsthand just what kind of immense suffering uh, Black goes through here. Check. See, yeah, there's like no holding on to any of the pawns, and if I chase this guy, he just comes back and it's... Well, I'm sorry, I can't take that because you just promote. We can't end on an endgame like that either. That was instructive, that was well played for my opponent, but I'm not willing to end it there. I want to, but I'm it just... I can't... I don't know, I did not play well that game. I have to play a little bit better. And not win on some stupid cheapo like the Queen Trap yeah, that two that. games ago. Hey, we got Llama Lord. And we went Berserk. We went oh, and he's going Berserk. Sure. Alright, let's play the Dutch. Does he know the Dutch? Probably. Uh, let's transpose into Stonewall territory. This is the greatest opening to play in your going berserk. Because there's potential to hang things. Alright, so... I think I'm doing okay.
pressure. We'll take here. Plunk the knight on e4. Um, capture away from the center. And then uh, sideline the queen over here. We like that queen a5 to h4 move. It's, it's a good way to move the queen. Oh, poor llama. Poor, poor llama. Um, I think I've confused him. Yeah, and no, I don't think this works so well for him. I think he found a way back in the game, though. So despite my ridiculous play, he's he's got some good moves here. Yeah, I don't think trading queens would have gotten me very far, so I abstained from doing so. Um, maybe I can get my rook out this way. This is extremely dangerous and probably ill-advised, but I try. Okay. This is the secret tactic. Just maybe it'll happen. Here we go. Uh, YOLO. <laughs> YOLO times 10. Uh, and doing this in time pressure, too. Oh, man. Could I have made this any more confusing for both of us? Oh, I can't take there. So much for my plan. I suppose I'll just have to settle for the more obvious, straightforward tactic. Check. 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 Can't let Llama's loss go for naught. Um... Interesting game, for sure. I didn't expect to win against the Mighty Llama. Um, but it is Blitz, and I'm guessing that he probably doesn't go Berserk as often as I do, so that might explain uh, what transpired. Here, take my pawn. Alright, take this pawn. Oh! Check. Check that out. I am being generous today. Uh, if I take f7, does this work? Let's find out. YOLO! 
Okay, it doesn't work. That was short-lived. Or was it? <laughs> what is this nonsense? How... Have I summoned... Like, have I made some Faustian wager of some sort? What is it about going berserk that causes people to play stuff like this? Okay. Well, apparently I'm beating a 2200 yeah. at the moment, so yeah, that's happening. Uh, let's take the pawn. Oh, we're not. Okay, we'll not get mated. Also, I could have Rook F4 available now. Um, so we'll just play it. So, it turns out, in Blitz, you can play a lot of things that you can't normally get away with in slow chess. Um, he's putting up some really good tactical defense here. Um, so I'm forcing the knight to move away from defense of this f7 square. You might not see it that way, though. Oh, that does not work. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's probably a good note to end it on. Let's analyze the game just to see if knight d7 is terrible, because I need to know. Um, but, yeah. I think that... That's a collective, um, I don't know, it ends the my participation in the tournament pretty effectively. It brings this whole series to a whole, uh, to a close, as I stumble over my words and try to make some semblance of a decent closing statement. Um, so I guess, okay. I hope people enjoyed, yeah, uh, so, okay, Rick S7's obviously bad. Well, knight d7's not entirely terrible, but I should have gone with the first thing I saw. It's just looked too... I don't know. Like, I saw this here, but somehow after knight d7 I didn't see that. Anyhow, I hope people enjoyed, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, take care.